channel and today we are going to be doing a spooky spooktober baking video. Now today we are going to be doing some fun little activities. We're going to see what we can get done but at least we're going to be doing some fun cake pops. So we're going to start doing the cake pops first and if we have some time we might do some cupcakes. So let's get started shall we? So ooh, the first thing we should do is you know dress for the occasion. Now one would need an apron right? All right, so to start this off, you are going to need a cake mix or an original recipe that you can find online. I'm using the Rainbow Chip Party Cake Mix, which is also from Betty in the States, from Betty Crocker. So, you know, let's just use this. All you need is vegetable oil, 180 milliliters of water, three medium free range eggs, the buttercream icing, which we have here. Yeah, that's pretty much it really. And then, I'll show you how to do the cake pops. Okay, so we have our mixing bowl here. We're going to empty our contents out of the box. I have my bowl here, and then goes the cake mix. The next thing you're going to need to do is get six tablespoons of vegetable oil. Then we have our 180 milliliters of water. So I have this measured out here. Three eggs, okay. Eggs done. I have an electric mixer, so. Oh, okay guys, <laughs> I'm gonna say I am pretty apprehensive about this. Okay, here goes, let's see. Okay, okay, it's kind of working. Guys, this cooking with Mikey business. All right, so there you have it. That is the mixture all creamy tray here with just a, you know, a greased baked tin. So we can pour that into it. Oh, look at that. That's gorgeous. Amazing. Funfetti cake. All right, guys, so that's it. That is your mixture in your baking tray. So now all you need to do is just bake it between 22 and 27 minutes and then you test it with a knife to see if it comes out with any sticky parts you need to put in for a little bit longer. If not, you're good to go and you are ready to take it out. Alright guys, so while that does that downstairs, we are going to start making some cupcakes. Now this is just a basic salt caramel toffee flavor sponge mix cupcakes. And we've got this Wilton decorating set with zombie hands coming out of like the ground that we are going to use as well, which I'm excited to use. These looked really fun. I love Wilton so much. If you've never used Wilton before, it is a popular American brand, but they do amazing bakeware. So go check them out. Also Rosanna Pansino, if you like her, she has a line with them as well, and she's a famous YouTuber, so go check those out. We're gonna start off with the mixing bowl, and we're gonna open this up. This one doesn't eat oil, oh, but it smells so damn good. Let's get it on. <sighs> Love that one. That one's probably my favorite smelling one. Oh, that's a juicy one. Yes. We also had these. I don't actually have a freaking cupcake tray. I know, I thought I did. I don't have one in this establishment, this house, this place of, of me living. Next, electric whisk for two minutes. Okay. That's that. I also got these cupcake cases from Wilton, which look like this. These fine little ones here. Uh, it says, haunt it like you got it. And it's got a little uh, ghost on the end. And it's got some like fun pumpkins on there as well. So I thought I'd stick with the Wilton theme. Just fill them up halfway, because obviously they rise. These are ready to go into the oven. And I'm gonna just go check on the cake downstairs. Guys, it's the moment of truth. We're gonna see how the cake has performed. It looks golden and brown. 
And now we have our beautiful cake all made. It looks beautiful. Good bounce to it, which is nice. Okay guys, so now we have our cake. It looks beautiful, gold, and delicious. We now have to crunch it off into little pieces. So this is kind of the fun, messy part of it. So the best part to do is to scrape the insides. Just really make sure there's no hard bits at all because you don't want any hard bits for the cake bop. Let me tell you, making this at late at night is not the best thing. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to put in at least two tablespoons of this. Okay, so it says two spoonfuls. Yeah guys, this is quite fun. I've never made cake pops, so this is quite interesting. Guys, isn't this so therapeutic, just baking and like enjoying the Halloween season? Okay, so you need to roll little balls like this. Okay guys, I'm back. I've rolled these all up into their little balls. I am wearing a t-shirt because it's quite cold now. What you're gonna need now, after you roll them, put them onto some greaseproof paper, is the lollipop sticks. Now I've already done some orange. You're gonna put them in melt you pierce it through the middle until it's like that all right and there you have it that is your cake pops all done now what you can do with these is put them in the freezer for 10 minutes so they set I had a mishap with the silicone containers for these and Aww. I burnt a lot of the candy melts I have orange here which is the main one we're gonna be doing we have black as well. And we have a little bit of green because I used a lot of green in the other one. And I have the sprinkles as well. Important, put a little bit of oil in each of them to make them thinner. So this makes it less thick and easier to apply. Guys, this is kind of exciting, I'm not gonna lie. So these were in the fridge for a little bit and we just twirl it in. <sighs> of course, this would be a fail, wouldn't it? All right, so this, this one has just come off its stick. All right, uh, that's that one. Oh, guys. I done this as right as it could be. This one shows more promise. All right, at least we got one somewhat done. So guys, this is Spooktober. I hope you guys are enjoying it. <laughs> oh, this one's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, wow. Okay. Let's just hope it doesn't fall off its stick. Um, do you know what? It's not bad. I don't want to say it's bad. It's not bad. I don't know. I watched tutorials on this and they didn't have this problem. <sighs> this is so messy. Okay, guys. So the cupcakes are done. I think this is going to be the best one yet. So, got my... Starbucks, because I could not last today without a Starbucks. I'm going to add the little Wilton zombie hands and sprinkles. So we're going to start with this one because it's got a really nice platform on it. And I pre-made this coffee ghoulish color. Okay guys, thank you for watching this. I hope you enjoyed me making these cake pops. It was definitely an adventure, something I'd love to do again. I definitely don't have the tools to be precise with the candy mills, like as you can tell by this little, little guy here. <laughs> but, you know, it was a fun experience. You know, I definitely think the cupcakes came out the best out of all of them. I do prefer the black cake pops because they do look a little bit more how they're meant to look. These ones look like Oompa Loompas more like than pumpkins. They're actually really tasty as well. I've actually had the two that didn't make it and they were amazing. 
the cupcakes, I'm excited to try those. So I'll do those off camera. It's a toffee cupcake with um, coffee icing, so that's real delicious. And I just want to do something fun for Spooktober that I haven't done before. It's very creative and it's very in the season to be spooky. I hope you enjoyed this. Make sure to smash that like button to support the channel. Subscribe for more content, more Spooktober goodness coming. And also turn notification bells on so you're notified whenever I upload any more spooky content or just regular old plain content that's on here on the channel. I would love that. Make sure to leave a comment down below what you thought about this. Is this something you've done before? Have you done cake pops? Are you going to be in the baking mood for this Halloween? I want to know. Let me know down below. And I will talk to you guys next time. Remember guys to keep it spooky. And I hope you have an awesome day wherever you may be. And until next time, bye bye so the video you're just watching has just ended, but don't worry, you can go watch one of my old videos right here, or you can go and subscribe right here, and be notified when my next video comes out so you don't have to miss any of the action. So thank you, and goodbye.